Hi, I wanted to tell you guys a little story that is probably pretty funny, and I'm ready to think it's funny too. <laughs> so, I think I was about 10, and my aunt and grandma took me to see The Phantom of the Opera. Have you guys ever seen that show? Yes. Woo! <laughs> it lit up my world. I thought it was the greatest thing ever. So, fortunately, I was in choir in elementary school, and we happened to be doing a Broadway production in choir. <laughs> this is very convenient for me and my new love of Phantom of the Opera. So what ended up happening is that we actually sang two Phantom of the Opera songs within a, less than a year later after I became completely obsessed with the show. Well, adolescence was a little awkward for me, and uh, I didn't really have a good mind-body connection. So, And I was so into the Phantom of the Opera that I was on the top bleacher, and there were two bleachers below me. And I didn't necessarily realize that the microphone for the whole choir was about right here. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. <laughs> and I was singing my heart out. <laughs> like completely just singing my heart out. I love this show. And after the show, I realized, because my, my parents told me, that they could hear me over everybody else. <laughs> 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 See, I, whenever a microphone comes in my presence, I am like, oh yeah, I want that, that's mine. I, I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to have a mic. And then I'm like, oh my god, the time of the <laughs> Not again. <laughs> and it's been, I've been allowing it to rob me of my voice. <laughs> and I, it's painful, it's not what I'm supposed to do. So I thought maybe I'll just share that story with you guys. And <laughs> I'm sure it was hilarious. Because <laughs> I'm a colorful person, as you might be able to observe. <laughs> <laughs> so my commitment is that I am forgiving myself for making a fool of myself. And it was probably for the joy of the audience. <laughs>